Hey fellow tennis nerds, it's time for me to test the Bubblelot Aero Pro Drive original in the Rafael Nadal spec. Yes, Rafa is not using the latest Pure Aero, but is actually still with the first edition of the Aero, the Aero Pro Drive that came out in 2005. Like for many pros, the company, in this case Bubblelot, paints Rafa's rackets to look like the latest commercial racket. If you look really closely above the grip, what has been called Cortex on newer models has just been painted on on Rafa's rackets. But with the new Pure Aero, the Cortex has been moved into the hoop part of the racket and it will therefore be harder to tell if it's a paint job or not. Uh, the paint job in itself does not mean that there is a huge difference between the Aero Pro Drive original and the later editions, but more on that later. Rafa has been adding more weight to his racket over the years and is now at a spec of 342 grams strong with a 33.6 centimeter balance. The idea has been for him to be able to finish points quicker and get more depth on his shots. So if you compare his earlier matches to how he plays these days, uh, it's definitely played a role in his game. All that extra weight in the head makes the racket a lot more stable and powerful and obviously more difficult to swing for us non-Rafas. I decided to weigh up my own Aero Pro Drive original and review the setup that Rafa plays with. What I can say straight away is that the APD original has a more raw and direct feel, uh, while the newer versions are more dampened. There is also a lower launch angle on the APD original, so it's a bit easier to control. However, with all the lead tape that Rafa has added to the hoop, the racket absolutely blasts the ball and you need to put a lot of rotations on your shots. The raw feel of the original edition is not everyone's cup of tea. It has a stiffness of 72 on strung. It is not exactly an arm friendly racket and players with sensitive wrists or elbows should look at other options, I feel. But I did feel more connected to the ball with the original edition over all the other arrow rackets I have tried. But it did not exactly tempt me to switch due to my flat game and my more eastern technique. But if you have a western or semi-western grip and a so-called modern game, the racket could be a good choice for you. I did however enjoy the power it gave me, I hit some pretty confidence inspiring winners. Uh, on touch and finesse shots however, I did not really feel the ball properly, I did not have the game for this kind of spec. Uh, it's also a lot to swing with a 100 square inch racket that is so heavy in the head. Fun racket, I can see why this is tailor made for Rafa's game which is quite specific. Uh, however if you have a flatter game I would have a hard time recommending this stick. I tried a couple of string setups myself and uh, my arm liked it best with a multi-filament hybrid. Uh, I used Head Hawk Touch in the mains and Bubble Up Addiction in the crosses. The spin potential with a full poly such as RPM Blast or Solinko Hyper G is better, but you will feel the stiffness more. I am a bit shocked that Rafa can play this racket with a full bed of 1.35mm gauge RPM Blast in it. That's a very stiff string, uh, but on the other hand, I am no Rafa. All in all, the Aero Pro Drive original is a fun racket to try. I really enjoyed the Rafa spec version of it. Uh, I definitely felt that, that adding some lead tape to the hoop really benefits this racket. It helps you get some extra power and spin, and it also makes it more stable at the net. So I think adding lead tape to the hoop is a good idea. However, I would not add as much as uh, Rafa has, so uh, that's good to keep in mind. But you can obviously experiment with some lead tape and see what, uh, what kind of amount would give you a good feel and a good uh, control for your game. It will be interesting to compare this experience to the new Pure Aero that was released recently and that I am about to review in a couple of weeks. They have reduced the stiffness of that one and I think that's a step in the right direction. As always, thanks for following Tennis Nerd and for checking out my humble content. Have a good day on the tennis court.